Here with Steve Lackmeyer, guru of downtown knowledge, and he's melting here in the summer sun as I am. Oklahoma City awoke this week to uh, to a couple things. One, on lostogle.com, we had breaking news of, of all things, Jessica Alba vandalizing downtown Oklahoma City, and you can see the poster behind us. Yes, shark awareness. Apparently, landlocked Oklahoma is a great place for the awareness of the great white shark. But apparently, Steve, give us some background. You've spoken with city leaders. Uh, last week, she put up a ton of posters. This little girl put up some pretty big posters and a quality glue job as well. What are city officials saying? Well, you know, first of all, I can see where she thought she wasn't doing much harm. Most of the posters were hung in places like this fairly innocuous, uh, in this case it's on a railroad bridge here at Northeast 3rd, entering to Maywood Park uh, from downtown. In other areas it's mostly in utility boxes. Uh, there is one though on a United Way billboard. They're not too thrilled about that. The city meanwhile sees it as vandalism. You spoke with Mayor Mick Cornell. what's his report? They're peeved. Uh, basically he's saying, you know, they're glad she's visiting our city, but she's becoming a bit of a high maintenance visitor. Uh, so they're, they're not too amused. Yeah, you can kind of see that coming. Jessica Alba in town along with co-stars Casey Affleck and Kate Hudson for The Killer Inside Me, which is filming up in Guthrie this summer. And uh, her and her co-stars are staying at some downtown hotels, which explains her existence or her appearances here in downtown Oklahoma City. Now, you had some fun with this on your blog at OKC yeah, Central. Uh, you put up a poll today, and you were doing really well early on. Well, you know, I set up a very scientific poll. The options are, how should Jessica make amends for this? One option was, okay, yes, she should be forced to make amends by attending the Dead Center Film Festival, and we think she was improving downtown. Another option was, yes, we believe she should make amends by attending the Dead Center Film Festival, but we think she was vandalizing and doing a bad thing. Another one was, no, we don't believe there should be a no answer to this poll. And the third, the fourth one, which I was very excited about, is yes, we believe she should make amends for this by attending the film festival and also getting her photo taken with Steve Lackmeyer. That came in at a very tight second, and then by early afternoon, News OK linked to it, and I just plummeted. Yeah, I should have closed the polls when you had that one. All right, on a serious note, what's the next step on, on this situation and situations like these? Well, you know, the irony is, I mean, I don't know. I mean, you can look across the street, and there's a mural of a Centennial train and Old West scenes. It took the Centennial Commission about two years to get that going. Uh, this is actually considered public art, I guess, and they're not too thrilled about it. It wouldn't be the first time, though, that we've seen public art done without permission. Uh, I believe that the Land Run Monument itself was done without going through the Arts Commission. So, but is this public art? Is it vandalism, graffiti, what have you? The city's going to go about removing them. Uh, at least that seems to be the indication coming from them. Uh, they're not thrilled. Will there be any kind of prosecution in anything like that? We've got a very PR savvy mayor. I'd be surprised if that happened. Jessica Alba has released a statement. Jessica said, quote, I got involved in something I should have had no part of. I realized that I should have used better judgment and I regret not thinking things through before I made a spontaneous and ill-advised decision to let myself get involved with the people behind this campaign. I sincerely apologize to the citizens of Oklahoma City and to the United Way for my involvement in this incident. Meanwhile, the Oklahoma's Johnny Johnson reports the Oklahoma Parks and Recreation Department has filed a complaint with police. Oklahoma City Police confirmed they took a report about vandalism involving several shark posters which were glued to city electrical boxes. Police would not discuss whether Alba was a suspect based on the online photos originally posted to a page that's since been removed. It was on a shark conservation blog run by White Mike. Well, good luck to the city crews in taking down these posters. As you can see, uh, Jessica really used some glue in applying the Great White Shark. And uh, best of luck to the Great White Sharks. Uh, Killer Inside Me later this uh, summer wraps up filming in Guthrie. For more on this story, go to Steve Lackmeyer's blog at OKCCentral.com.